Hey everybody, it's Angel. How are you guys and gals doing? I do hope that everyone is doing fabulous. I hope that your week is off to a great and wonderful and blessed start. Uh, I just wanted to come and share something with you. You know, all of us, almost all of us are on Facebook or some other sort of social network, whether it's Instagram or Twitter or whatever. We're always sharing the hottest thing that's out whether it's by a celebrity or whether it's by uh, someone you look up to, just just whatever. We're always sharing things. And so I wanted to share something great with you. Uh, for the last couple of weeks, I've been listening to Eric Thomas. Some of you may know him as E.T., the hip-hop preacher here on YouTube. I remember coming across Eric's video a couple months ago when it started going viral on um World Star Hip Hop, I think. And I was like, wow, phenomenal. And then I'm also a member of this group on Facebook and someone posted the video again. And they said that uh, this is something that they listen to every single day. And so I decided to go to the page and I looked and it was Eric again. And I, I just went through, I mean, I just listened to videos after video and I was enriched and I was Oh my God, my soul must have been thirsty because I was properly, I mean, I was fed by every single thing that he said. I mean, I, that's how my airing started. I finally got up and said, I have to do this. And so I've been listening to him for a few months now. And it's just one of the most, I mean, last night at five o'clock in the morning, I'm on iTunes downloading um, his work to my uh, I just realized that he has an iTunes and although we can get the videos free, it was a new, it was an amazing thing to uh, wake up this morning and press play on my music and was able to listen to a prayer that he had. And for the whole day, I've been just listening to, I, or I downloaded, I think a whole CD. It was called, um, let the lack go. Uh, yeah, Let Lack Go by E.T. the Hip Hop Preacher on iTunes. And it was just amazing to just listen to. I think there was like 11 uh, different songs where he was preaching. And it's been, oh my God, it's been amazing. I also bought his book. I haven't read it yet. And this is Eric Thomas, The Secret to Success. And that's a guy who says that um, when you want to succeed as bad as you want as you want to breathe, then you shall be successful. And I'm looking up because my vision board is on top of one of the pictures up there. And this is my vision board about weight loss, although I never really look at it. Yes, that's another topic. But when you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you shall be successful. And I took up and I went and I created Lovely You and I did it. I just said, let's just do it. And it's been going marvelous. Um, I've always been a very positive person. And so I've been reading these books, self-help books, books on tips on how to uh, get over stuff and just basically just be this amazing person on the inside, which I think I am. And I've been doing this for about seven years. I think I started back in 2006. So six years when I started reading The Secret, um, Three Magic Words, um, all of the Abraham Hicks book. Um, just anything you could think about, anything that could enrich me. In my pocketbook, my pocketbook, I always keep, I'll show you, um, I'll show you what I keep in my pocketbook. Somebody did a bag, a bag thing the other day, and I wanted to do one, but nothing really is in my bag. This is what is in my bag. As a man thinketh. And this is by James Allen. This is a phenomenal book. And maybe it's targeted towards men, but I love the teachings. I also have As a Man Think It by James Allen. This is another version of that book. Amazing. And I even have As a Woman Think It. This is what, any time you go into my bag, this stays in my pocketbook at all times. And these are in my pocketbook. I always keep a book. Um, I'm currently reading Paul Coelho Aleph. This book just came out um, a couple months ago or a couple weeks ago and I decided to pick it up because Paul, I call him Paul, Paulo, I like to say it, Paulo Coelho, he's the guy that wrote The Alchemist, which is one of the most amazing books I ever read in my life. I mean, woo! it was an amazing book. Amazing, amazing book. So, 
Um, I love to read. I enjoy reading. I think it's very important for us to read, feed our souls. We come on YouTube. We want to see natural hair videos. We want to see makeup videos. We want to say, go watch E.T. Do you need a word from God or whoever you believe in? Or do you need something to just get you going? It's the start of the week. Everybody is down. He has a whole set of episodes called TGIM. Thank God it's Monday. Be excited about Mondays. Be excited about Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Be excited about every single day that we get. At the beginning of the week, everybody's like, oh, God, we still have hangovers. No, let's be excited. I got up today with, oh, my God, I didn't go to bed till after 5 this morning. After five, I was up listening to E.T., listening to some good soundscapes, listening to some good classical music, just getting my mind right. I got up today and I was just ready to go, just ready to go. I feel like I can take on the world. And I wanted to share that with you guys. Please take a few minutes. We have to invest time in ourselves. We take so much time doing all this and doing all these things that are not beneficial for us. What are they doing for us? Take some time to invest in yourself. Listen to some good stuff. Feel empowered. Feel mighty. Feel strong. Feel beautiful. I encourage you to really, um, and, and even if you don't like E.T. and you like Napoleon Hill and you like the Hicks and you like whoever you like, Louise Hay, whoever you like to read and people, let's not, when we get into a funk and we get into a rut and we can't seem to go forward, Find something that inspires you. Find something that motivates you to do something, to get up and do what you got to do. Uh, we do that in our weight loss journeys. And every now and then we tend to eat a lot of bread and a lot of cheese. Um, I'm not talking about me. Yes. <laughs> I love bread and cheese, by the way. And um, I've been having a very hard time with weight loss. A very, very hard time. But that's another video. I'll make another video right after this one. But um, I want you guys to feel encouraged. Find something that makes you feel good. And that's why I keep these books in my bag. Because any minute when I feel like, oh, God, I'm on the train. I'm, you know, it says here, the circumstances which a woman encounters with suffering are a result of her own mental inharmony. we got to get our minds right. we got to start thinking straight, start thinking positively, start loving ourselves, start being happy. E.T. said that you don't fake it until you make it, but I forgot, I forgot what he said, but he had a very good thing. And one of the, the poems that he spoke about the other day was Don't Quit. When things go wrong, as they sometimes will, when the road you're trying, charging seems all uphill, when the, when the funds are low and the deaths are high and you want to smile, but you have to sigh. When care is pressing you down a bit, a bit rest if you must, but don't you quit. That was one of the, um, my grandmother had that in the house. I saw that as a child every single day, and I never, ever forgot it. Don't quit. God bless you. I love you very much. Thank you for being a part of my channel and being here with me. And um, I hope that this helps someone. Even if it helps just one person, I'm going to put his link below. I'm going to put the link for his website. I'm going to make it my business to share with you guys something that's going to help you. Okay? I am interested in being a motivational speaker. I've always thought about it. And E.T. says he's been doing this for 17 years until he got his final blow. So press on. Whatever you're doing, whatever you want to do, he says to fail, fail in the future. Think about, don't live now, live five, ten years from now. Start seeing yourself where you want to be. And I remember seeing myself speaking in front of 10,000 people. Wow, hold on. I probably am doing that right now. Hey, who's watching this video? <laughs> I am excited. I feel good. And I want you guys to feel good too. God bless each and every one of you. Take care, and we will talk soon. Take care. Bye-bye.